GGOR here, good with Gentle Reptiles with Abby. She is my albino hog nose, and she is anaconda face. It's hard to get her in the picture sometimes because she's so tiny. But she just came out of rumination probably about a month and a half ago. So she just came through a shed, so she's looking pretty good. Uh, still finicky as far as getting to eat because of that time of year for them. But her and my others are starting to pick up, except for my one boy, Elliot. He just uh, still refuses to eat, unfortunately. So I'm trying to get him to uh, calm down and eat for me. But hog noses definitely go through a finicky phase, or some of them can, not all of them as far as getting to eat. She's very, very pretty. She's active right now. Nice pink belly. Cute, tiny little face. I love their like little upturned nose. I think it's just adorable. They're just, I think, one of the cutest snakes. But they could be one of the more finicky, I think, snakes as far as getting to eat. I've tried, uh, just so you guys know, so I don't get a blown up uh, page. I've tried Reptilinx with no go uh, for their, they got like little tubes uh, that you can give snakes or other reptiles. Uh, none of my snakes liked their stuff at all. I've tried their scent. They have frog scent and everything. Tried that uh, for my real finicky ones. She eats for me really good, but like I said, that time of year with rumation, she does not. She'll be picking up her food here probably uh, in the next couple of weeks. She'll start eating good again. Uh, same with my other ones, they're already eating good again, uh, except for Elliot. But I've tried even tuna, I've tried fish, I've tried other stuff, and sometimes they want nothing to do with that stuff. So, just so you know, Hog noses are super cute. They're tiny, they're rear venomous, uh, rear fang venomous. Uh, doesn't have effect usually on most people unless you have a reaction to it. They're not real bitey snakes, but they do like upturn their nose. Uh, they'll, they'll hiss, they'll mock strike, stuff like that. The Western hog noses. The Easterns are even crazier as far as their acting skills. They'll turn around, they'll open their mouth, and they'll play dead, and they'll even secrete stuff to make it smell like they died. So that's their defense. But these guys, they don't usually get that crazy as far as the Easterns. The Westerns, you know, are a little bit more laid back. Easterns are a little crazy. But just know that they can still be real finicky when it comes time to eating and getting them to eat correctly but sometimes it's worth it because they're extremely cute i think they're one of the cutest snakes that you can get and they have different patterns and they're easier to get to breed to because i say breed because you can get they'll flick their tail they'll do like a little head bob when the female you know is uh going to let the male uh, do what he needs to do. So you know that it's gonna be okay and it's gonna be safe. You gotta watch because if they don't have that reaction, females are a good deal, are a good bit bigger than males and they might possibly wanna eat the male. So you gotta watch because they do eat other reptiles, other snakes. They like frogs and toads, but uh, they could eat another snake, so you just gotta be careful. And they will fan out kind of like a cobra, but not as dramatic as a cobra or even a false water cobra. Uh, they don't usually ever bite. But to each their own, every snake has a different personality. Abby's a sweet one. Now some of my other ones uh, are a little crazy. They mock strike and hiss and put on a big show all the time, but then they don't do anything. So I just wanted to show you guys Abby, talk about the hog nose. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, hit me up. And otherwise, thank you so much for the likes. Please subscribe. 
And Abby says, bye-bye and thank you.